Good morning to all who are preparing for FRCS Urology Section 2 exam. As a continuation of Pediatric Urology Viva, today's topic is antenatal hydronephrosis and mega ureter. I would add here that I, ha I have made these questions myself and have not taken from any book. So we will start with today's Viva. It is your exam day. Your first table Viva is Pediatric Urology in which you will be asked two scenarios of 10 minutes duration each. Once the bell rings, approach the table with a pleasant smile on face and make eye contact with both examiners and shake hands firmly. This shows your professional behavior and earns you marks. Take the paper and pencil provided on the table. Write down the important, quest important points of the questions which the examiner asks you. So the examiner will then ask you, you see a six week baby in your pediatric urology clinic. Mom tells you that antenatal scan, which was performed in third trimester, showed an abnormality. And she was asked to come to clinic to repeat the ultrasound scan. What will you like to know from the mother and what will you check in the antenatal scan? I will take focus history inquiring about the gender of baby, whether baby is feeding well and is passing urine without any difficulty, and if there is any family history of vesicoureteral reflux. In the antenatal scan, I will check the presence of hydronephrosis, its severity by measuring the AP pelvic diameter, whether it is unilateral or bilateral, is there any ureteric dilatation or not, any evidence of ecogenicity and parenchymal thickness. We'll then check the thickness of bladder, absent bladder filling as this indicates extrophy of bladder, presence or absence of a dilated posterior urethra and oligohydramnos. So the examiner will then ask you as per NICE, when should the antenatal scan be performed to detect the gestational age and the fetal anomalies? During pregnancy, ultrasound scan to detect gestational age should be performed between 11 to 15 weeks and for fetal anomalies to be detected, the ultrasound scan should be performed usually between 18 to 20 weeks. So the examiner will then say the antenatal scan showed right-sided hydronephrosis with dilated ureter. What will you do next? I will arrange for complete blood count, renal function test, urine depth check, and an ultrasound scan to see if the right hydroureteronephrosis is persistent or not. How do you grade hydronephrosis on antenatal scans? I use a Society of Fetal Urology classification to grade hydronephrosis in antenatal scans, in which grade zero is no hydronephrosis, grade one in which the renal pelvis is visualized, Grade 2, along with the renal pelvis, few calluses are visualized. Grade 3, the renal pelvis and all calluses are dilated. Grade 4, grade 3 and the parenchyma of the kidney is thinned. So, ultrasound scan which was done at 6 weeks showed persistent right-sided hydroureteronephrosis. What could be the differential diagnosis? It could be vesicoureteral reflux, a mega ureter or posterior urethral valve. How will you proceed? In this case, when there is a right-sided hydroureteronephrosis with contralateral kidney normal, I will start prophylactic antibiotics in the form of trimethoprim 2 mg per kg OD. And to confirm the diagnosis, I will arrange for an MCUG under antibiotic cover as it can exclude the reflux and the blood outflow obstruction. You are shown an MCUG in which there is no reflux and the PUV is also ruled out. The bladder appears to be normal. What is your diagnosis now? This is most likely a mega ureter. What is a mega ureter? Mega ureter is a dilated ureter of more than 7 mm in diameter from 30 weeks of gestation onwards. Can you classify mega ureter? As per Smith classification, mega ureter is classified as obstructed, refluxing, refluxes, refluxing with obstruction, 
non refluxing and non obstructing later king in 1980 classified it into primary and secondary mega ureter which was based on the cause so what will you do next this baby needs a mag 3 diuretic scan to identify any obstruction and the split function what does mag 3 stand for it is a technetium 99m labeled mercapto acetyl triglycine scan is there any radiation involved in this the radiation dose is low and is about 0.4 to 0.7 millisieverts mother is anxious and wants to know what it is and how will it be performed mag3 scan is performed to identify any obstruction and the split function it is excreted in urine by mainly tubular secretion and also by glomerular filtration mom will need to bring the baby well hydrated to the nuclear medicine department where iv access will be obtained and the baby is given technetium labeled mag3 along with the furosemide and over the next 30 minutes images are obtained by the gamma camera also a post maturation image is taken the mag3 shows that the split function of the right kidney is about 40% and the drainage curve of right kidney appears to be obstructed how will you proceed this is an obstructed mega ureter i will continue with antibiotic prophylaxis and will follow them up with repeat ultrasound scan at 6 months time as about 80 to 85% will improve spontaneously so what are the indications of intervention if the child becomes symptomatic with recurrent febrile utis and pain if the differential renal function becomes less than 40% if on ultrasound scan there is worsening hydronephrosis or if on serial renogram there is a 5% drop in the differential renal function so this child was kept on antibiotic prophylaxis at 8 months of age repeat ultrasound scan showed a increase in the right sided hydroureteronephrosis repeat mag3 scan showed a differential renal function of 35% of the right kidney how will you proceed this is an indication for surgery so i will place a temporary right sided double pigtail stent either endoscopically or by an open approach well you try to place a dg stent but it failed what now i have an option of refluxing ureterocystostomy or a cutaneous ureterostomy in refluxing ureterocystostomy the dilated ureter is anastomosed to the bladder and once the child becomes more than 1 year then i can do ureteric reimplantation with or without ureteral tapering are you aware of different types of ureteric reimplantation the ureteric reimplantation are of two types there is an intravesical ureteric reimplantation which includes cohen's cro- cross trigonal technique and a lead better polytano reimplantation while the extravesical reimplantation includes the leech grigoid type what methods of tailoring of mega ureter do you know of well there is a plication method by star and kalisinski and a tapering method by hendren so what are the complications of surgery these include persistent obstruction or a vesico ureteral reflux because of the failure to create an anti reflux mechanism at the time of surgery and what is the success rate it is more than 90% so this is how a viva on mega ureter will progress your answers should be precise and to the point each examiner will give you marks on three categories knowledge and clinical judgment your thought process whether it is logical and on your overall professionalism and therefore you get three different marks on one scenario from each examiner which ranges from 4 to 8 in which 6 is a pass so i hope you all enjoyed this viva on mega ureter and it was helpful i will post more soon 
सो प्लीज़ डू सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर जॉइनिंग इन